Evidently a new galaxy has been discovered, a terrace, so I'll be able to go to that one later if I want to, and a hungry Luma appears. Now, this is what I mean when I was talking about um, that you're going to need a lot of star bits to complete this game. I'm going to go show you what that hungry Luma is like right now. now. You go to this critter here. How's it going? Yeah, I got some tasty star bits if I feed you a bunch. Will you transform? You need one 400. I got 400 because I was collecting them like a madman. And look at them go! And now he's going to transform into a, um, a whole new galaxy or a whole new planet, whatever you want to call it. What are they going to call it? Probably a galaxy. Yeah, the sweet, sweet galaxy. And then you just go to the sling star that's over here. Once you beat a galaxy, a regular Luma will appear in his place and be able to... Um, give you that sling star again, should you ever want to go back to this galaxy again. Um, but as for now, I'm just going to show you one of these special galaxies, and I'm going to go back to the terrace. The terrace dome. Um, as you can see, the sweet, sweet galaxy, rocky road, all referring to food, and we got some Super Mario Bros. 3 remix music going on. Oh uh, yeah, as I said, this game has some of my, has some of my favorite music of all time. Actually, that's that electricity saved me from certain doom. Um, if you long jump your way through here, uh, you shouldn't have much trouble getting through this area, like, at all. Because you can skip most of these holes just by going right across them. Uh, I do recommend that you place your jumps. Oh no! Oh, I won't stop! I will get that star! Um, because you, you kind of like long jump right over all the danger of this thing, and you just aim for a safe spot. That's like the easiest way to get through this galaxy ever, is just to long jump it. And I don't know, I don't know if they thought that that one-up was going to be hard to get or something, but anyway, there's an arrow cutout of that, uh, um, cookie, I think it is, or piece of chocolate, whatever it is, that was kind of weird. Oh shoot, why did I do that? No! I was too focused on star bits. Oh, I start back over here. I guess that isn't too bad. Oh, I almost died already. <laughs> Evidently, I'm playing a little bit too reckless at the moment, but that's okay. It'll lead for some fun failures along the way, just like that one that you've seen a minute ago. And I'm, as I said, I'm not very far from where I was before, so this shouldn't be much trouble going ahead whatsoever. Um, if you're too afraid to make a jump, um, you can back off from it and just land, I mean, uh, land on a safer, closer spot. Um, and there will always be an easier to, uh, traverse spot coming up. So, that's a good way to get yourself killed, is if you try to make jumps that you are a little bit too afraid to do. Uh, if you don't have the confidence to make the jump, you probably aren't going to make the jump, because you're going to back off from it. But anyway, there's a star. <laughs> yeah, some of these galaxies... Are, are longer and some of them are really short. Uh, that's what I mean that I was really lollygagging on those first couple parts um, because I can really collect stars fast in this game. Uh, as I said, I know this game pretty well. I, it turns out I only went through it two times. Um, I, I said I went through it three times. I could have swore I went through it three times, but I actually was going through it a third time, but something must have taken my attention off the game. Um, so, I, I technically only went through this game two times, um, so I shouldn't have a lot of knowledge of it, but it's got, but it's such a memorable game that I just pretty much memorized it even on my first run. Oh no, an enemy base! Uh, oh no, they're, I hope they aren't misusing the power of the Grand Star either, but they probably are. I mean, come on, this is the enemy base we're talking about here. So, Good Egg Galaxy and Honey Hive Galaxy are now complete. So I'm going to unlock both these galaxies here. Uh, first off, I'm going to do a flip switch galaxy. Um, whenever you see like a question mark galaxy like that, it's going to be a really short galaxy. I don't ever remember any of these being a long galaxy. Um, so if you, if you don't have much time to spare, just go to one of these galaxies if you, if you want to collect stars. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much going to be going through the entire world one. Um, obviously, if you remember these buttons from the very first Grand Star that I got, I should say the very first star that I got, excuse me, um, you have to make all these switch to yellow. Um, if you step on them again accidentally, they'll switch back to blue, so then you're, you'll have to repress them. It's kind of inconvenient in a way, but that's the idea. You know, it's, it's a puzzle of trying to get through here, um, 
as he... Yes, that's a laser. He's firing his lasers. <laughs> well, whatever, I'm just acting all hyper for no reason whatsoever, because that laser is not hard to dodge at all. And then once you press all the buttons, like so, you'll be able to get to the star. And if you didn't notice, look at the background. Notice the background? It is classic NES Mario. Yes! Nintendo never, ever forgets their roots in gaming. Never! They always put little touches of their older games in with their newer ones. I think that's kind of nice. Okay, the next galaxy I'll be unlocking is this one. This critter right here, known as Loop de Loop Galaxy. Let's see what it's all about. Actually, I know what it's all about. You're going to be riding a manta ray. Surfing 101. This is not Mario Hacks 101. This is Surfing 101. Just thought I'd say that to uh, elevate any confusion you might have about that. As you can see, it's got it's a manta ray with some really long feelers on its face. Just like a little bitty uh, catfish in a way. And uh, let's talk to some penguins. Hey, how's it going? You're new. Yes, it is Penguin Paradise. Look at this beautiful tropical area. Wait. Tropical area? You're supposed to live in the Arctic! What are you talking about? This should be Penguin Sweat Hall. Sweat Storm. Sweat Milky Way Galaxy. Whatever. Uh, wait. Uh, no, I'm not a surfer. What are you talking about? Oh, and it takes me back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I did that one time just for the fun of it. Um, and it actually does. I, I, thought, it I thought it was just going to say... Uh, that's too bad, and then they would just take me back to where I was, but it actually takes me to the beginning. Now he's going to explain surfing. Point it at the screen. Yay! That's the basic, basic position. This is flat, and then you twist it left to turn left. Whoa! What about turning right? Whoa, I bet you twist your hand to the right. Yes! That's awesome! And to speed up, just hold the A button. And let's just do a little practice here. Um, hey, where's my cursor? My cursor isn't on the screen. How am I supposed to collect those star bits off to the side? I was paying too much attention to the star bits and I missed some coins. Dang it! Oh, well, I want star bits more than coins anyway. Anyway, this is a race. A pretty easy race, even if you're messing around. Um, but the waters are pretty rough. Uh, thanks for the luck, told guy that was off screen that you could barely see there. Yeah, you said good luck. There's some audience members cheering you on there. That was probably one of the Toad Brigade. Um, there's a one-up over here. You can grab that if you'd like. Um, whoa, I turned a little too sharp there. Um, I released the A button and, and then turn, which makes you turn pretty sharp. Which is necessary on stuff like this that's coming up. Like really sharp turns. But even if you... Um, even if you lollygag on this course, you still won't have very much problem beating that best time. So that best time is like, uh, like one of the easiest best times you could possibly beat in any game ever. Um, in fact, I wouldn't doubt that this course can be completed in like under a minute uh, by a better player that knows what they're doing and can like zoom through these corners. Um, uh, oh wait, oh yeah, I, I came pretty close to beating it in a minute. Whenever you see this uh, shine sprite goal like that, that indicates that you're at the end. Um, I was only a couple seconds over. So, yeah, if I would have saved uh, 2.18 seconds, I could have got it under a minute. I'm sure people have done it before. Have you done it? If you have, post it in video response. That would be kind of fun to see. <laughs> I am a happy plumber. And uh, one more galaxy in the terrace to do. Just thought I'd say that, and then I think I'm done for the day. Yeah, I'm going to collect uh, all the stars for the first uh, um, area thingy, whatever you want to call it. Oh, technically, I didn't collect all the stars for any of these galaxies just yet, but I mean, but I mean just like clear it out as I go. Um, see, like I got all the stars from all these critters here, so let's go to the uh, next one. Oh no, it's Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Whoops. <laughs> I, wanted to grip the, I wanted to grip the thing to turn around. If you press the A button, I ac accidentally pressed the B button. You can uh, turn these things around like so, and then you can uh, select the planet a lot easier when there's like, when there's like menu screens and stuff like that in the way. Just saying there. 